Hello everyone, Ferret here, back on the prowl with another unboxing video. Today I just got this Nendroid in the mail a couple days ago, or was it like yesterday? Gosh, I don't I don't even know anymore. But anyway, here we are. We here we have Lona. I believe it's pronounced Lona. I've, I've watched a bit of the anime and it may have been something like Leona, but I'm just gonna say Lona for now because that's how it looks, but I could be wrong. Rage at me if you feel like it, but anyway, here she is. She's from the enemy Arpeggio of Blue Steel. So let's get a nice close-up shot going. And So I really like this Nendroid. I believe I got her on the Crunchyroll website for the Daily Deal. And um, I had actually, when I first, first heard of her um, in this series, it was actually through the manga from Seven Seas Entertainment. There's the official sticker right there. Show us that everything is all nice and good in the world. Anyway, actually, while I got this here, I grabbed um, this to show you guys. So you can, this is also available. Um, so far, only one volume is out. This is from Seven Seas Entertainment or GoManga.com. And uh, I liked it a lot. And when I saw the Nendroid figure, I just thought she looked really cute. And um, I liked the bit she came with. And so I decided to um, go ahead and grab that when I had the chance. All right, so without further ado, let's crack this. Oh, there's the um, there's the top. If I didn't show you, let's crack this puppy open. All right, I think I got it. Easy now. Don't rip the box. I don't know why. Like other collectors, me are so paranoid about it. Once it's open, it's open. But there's just something about ripping the box. You just don't want to do it. All right, come on. Maybe, maybe please. Come on now, we get it out. There we go. Perfect. All right, now I'll grab this. You can see this background in the box. It's got the number right in the back there. And let's see, here are the instructions. Oh, well, that's cute. It's got a little, um... oh, who is that? I forget, my character names are so bad right now. Oh wow, this is actually quite a big instruction template. So kind of scroll through these a bit, excuse me, so you guys can see that. Very cool, I'll put that over here. All right, now let's crack this bad boy open. Or the bad girl, of course I guess she's not really a bad girl, I don't know of yet. Like I said, I haven't gotten into the series too, too much yet. Um, I've only really read the manga, I haven't watched any of the subbed um, episodes yet, so my knowledge on the series is lacking a little bit, but just because I may not know Everything about this here doesn't mean I can't buy adorable figures because that's just how I roll. All right. Oh my gosh, she's really cute. Oh, let me get this plastic off. Oh, oh boy, your head is a little loose. You can do it. Come on. I haven't. Oh my gosh, I really shouldn't even say this. I haven't like really. Does that even come off? Yeah, they come off. I haven't like. Oh, the head's a little. Looks a little funny actually. Interesting. She's got a really big bulge in her neck. <laughs> actually, I think it's because she just pulled her halfway out. There we go. I was I thought something looked off here. So let's uh let me let you take a look here. At all the little features. What about the color of her hair? I think that's really cool. And obviously, traditionally everything kind of pops off. I never noticed she had green eyebrows. The more you know. So all her little hands and feet. And all that stuff and then let me grab this I'll take these out bit by bit so you can see them as well but she comes with one additional face but she does come with a sitting pose which is um, I guess kind of, well it's not even it's more of a kneeling pose really it's something that she does a lot from like where she sits in her ship so it's well that looks interesting <laughs> that is definitely a little bit interesting all right and then this is kind of a cool different kind of piece right here this is um, I guess you can kind of say the platform she connects with her ship from. Um, if I remember right, she kind of just sits on top of this and that's kind of her her navigation type set. And so let's get that back in here. Get you down here. And then I want to get this set up a little bit closer and then we'll, let's start um, putting it together. All right, now let's see what we can do to get her. Now I'm guessing this whole thing comes off now. There we go. Popping her head a little bit again, but that's fine. Let's um, let's definitely get her sitting pose in here. 
I'm gonna put you down. Let's get the plastic off of here. Perfect. And let's um let's just try putting these legs on. How well do these go? Oh, these go on really well. Perfect. You can kind of see her her legs right here. And then I'll get that together in a moment. Um, but I'm also let's um let's switch out her let's switch out her face. Let's put the other one on just to see what it looks like. And that all comes out just fine. Very cool. And now we got the other face right here. So let's put her in here. Brilliant. Oh, come on, get in there. There we go. Now let's get the hair back in. And so this is kind of what I'd say her expression is a lot from what I've seen. Um, and so she, I'm going to have to switch this camera so you guys can see her. But she'll, she kind of basically just, I mean, you can basically kind of use this as a stand. It looks like... This hole here. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I see some of the other bits. I'll get some of these other bits together in a minute. But you can kind of see her sitting pose. I think that her, I think her sitting pose is really cute. But in a minute, I'll um, I'll switch that camera so we can see a little bit more of that. All right. Now let me try a couple more things here. So here we are back again, guys. I got her a little bit situated. Let me get her other random legs that are just you know kicking around. <laughs> get it kicking around. I'm, I'm okay. I'm sorry. That was that was terrible. So <laughs> anyway, guys, here she is. She's on her um, her little thing here, and um, I think this is, I think this thing is really cute. I like it a lot. Um, it just it kind of works as a nice stand. I might have this backwards actually. Now think about it. I think what you might be able to do is I think you can like attach things to the back. I believe anyway, and so stuff like that. Anyway, let's um. Let's grab some of the other bits she has. I'll kind of show you like a little bit by bit. Let me see if I can. Oh gosh, gosh. Well, that's that's very wrong way. So let me see if I can kind of get the light. So I'm not like she's. It comes with like this little mini starfish, which I thought was really kind of cool. Let me get that. Ah, oh, starfish. <laughs> so there's that. And then what else does she come with here? She comes with obviously. I forgot to show this bit. Let me um. Get out of ultra zoom a little bit. <laughs> so it comes with here's the standard pad. Here she's got another head thing, and then let's just actually let's go ahead and open this right up while we have it right here. Um, let's see. There we go. So the only um, she comes with this extension right here, and as well as this extra headpiece, and then the standard just plate here. She also comes with this here, which. I'm gonna have to look at the instructions to just like figure out exactly how this um, goes in here and how that works. I'm guessing it goes into the back of this. And then we've got two extra arms. Let's see, so they have the shoulders pretty much right on them. Um, they're a little wonky on the inside because they're they're kind of turned. But let me um, kind of get it so you can let me do this a little bit. And wrong way. There you go. You can kind of see him right here. I'm sorry, I'm blocking the light a little bit. It's a bit dark out today, so I'm working with what I can here. So yeah, just little, oop, little arms. There we go. You can kind of see him here. So those are all basically all the bits she comes with. What else? She yeah. She and plus she has the legs she originally came with and the second face here or the primary face whatever actually i think it's i think it's more the secondary face really and then whoo, i almost dropped it and then we also have this tiny little piece here let me grab it with this hand so we can see it a little bit better ah anyway it's kind of just start a tiny little piece like the starfish and i'll figure out how that goes into everything in just a minute so here we go guys, here's another one. This is just another little pose. It's one of the ones that kind of came in the box. It's kind of got her, she's kind of looking down, reaching for the starfish. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with this one because as you can see back here, the hair really gets in the way, at least on this end joint. So she's kind of hard to maneuver around her hair. So she's a little little limited in the, in the ways that you can work with that one per se. But what I found is I somehow totally forgot about let me move you over here a little bit i totally forgot about these things and then you can i'll i'm gonna put this together in a minute but these are the loops you can see on the box in the beginning of the video and um this is probably gonna take me a minute to set up but um they're actually really cool and i'm looking really forward to this next pose 
All right, come on. We can, we can, we can do this. Come on. All right, come on. We can. I, I swear, we can totally do this. Oh. All right, all right. Bot, body first. Body first. Ben, damn you! Ah! Come on! Oh my gosh, success at last, guys! We finally got it! Wow, that was... That, that was interesting. But I think it was well worth it. It's a little... I've got this like off a little bit, obviously. Um, the rings here can be a little bit off. You've got to mess with them a little bit to kind of get them... Just right, yeah, I kind of just messed them up a little bit more than they were. Um, but this is really cool. I think this is really unique, obviously. I'll kind of show you how this looks back here and how it works a little bit. Let me, um, it was, you have to like hook, they're like not attached and you have to hook them together and then just slide them in here. It's, and these slide up and down this pole here. Um, as you can kind of see, it's a little, it was a little bit difficult to get put together just right, but I think, you know, the resulting thing was really cool and obviously you can have her sitting or pretty much doing whatever you want in this pose but I mean I think I'll leave it off right there as most of the parts um, we've got a couple little extra things here and this is her tie flipped I believe and I never I didn't get that on in video but that's alright um, she got a couple of arms and the other cute um, happy face but anyway guys uh, thanks so much for watching um, I would definitely recommend checking out the anime or the manga you can buy over here in the States. Um, let me kind of see it over here. Let me get you out of the way. Ah! Um, Arpeggio Blue Steel by um, Seven Seas Entertainment. So anyway guys, thanks a whole bunch for watching. Um, let me know um, if there's anything else you'd like to see, any figures you'd like to see me unbox. I have a lot of ones I haven't unboxed yet and I have a lot of ones I already have on my shelves. Um, tell me also if you'd ever be interested in like hearing manga reviews or anime reviews or something like that from me because truly I do have a lot. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It's really awesome and I would so, so, so appreciate it if you could leave uh, you know, a comment or a like and tell me what you thought of this video um, and what you thought of the figure. So anyway guys, until next time, I'm Fatal Ferret and I'll see you later.